please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Morgan. And I'm Brendan. And welcome, welcome to, to Bash, Bash TV. TV. Today is Thursday, April 7th, making today the official 146th day of school and day two of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be pulled pork sandwich, vegetarian beans, mm. fruit, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be cherry frutal, fruit, assorted juice, and milk. Congratulations to the April Students of the Month, Samantha Kalita, Jonathan Bayshore, and Maxwell Firth. Seniors, don't forget to stop in the guidance office for your permission form for the class trip to Hershey Park on June 1st. All signed permission forms and money are due to Mrs. Curry by April 8th. The next SATs will be given, will be given on June 4th. Registration deadline is May 5th. Sign up at the College Board website. Completed scheduling forms are due in homeroom on Monday, April 11th. Applications for honors and AP courses are available in the guidance office. Completed forms are due on April 11th. Now, before we send it over to sports, let's check out our newest segment of BASH we call We Say. Each week, we are going to hear student opinions. What was your favorite year of school and why? Uh, I would have to say probably my eighth grade year. Uh, I had a lot of fun. You know, I had like, good classes, like, good teachers, uh, a lot of good friends. My last year was awesome. I was able to drive my experience. Four and one. My favorite year of school is senior year. Probably have to say it was my sophomore year just because we had a lot of freedom. Uh, we were allowed to go basically anywhere, show up to class a little bit late. And the biggest thing of it all was probably communication. March 13th, man. Everybody remembers that date. Everybody got to leave school. Nobody had to finish their last market period or anything. Everybody just got a free pass, basically. It was pretty nice. I probably have to say sophomore year just because there was more freedom in the sophomore year. We could like. I think that we could have like our book bags our my sophomore year too, so I carry all of our books. And like there was, it's just like a better time of like the beginning of sophomore year because like every, like everybody didn't have to wear a mask and like we weren't worried about getting the virus and like when we were like let out we didn't like school was like optional so it was more like a more like more of a summer vacation. Um probably freshman year. All like the people in like the school better and it was just like a long time, not as strict as it is now. Well, those were some fantastic answers. I'm Josh Bukowski. Be sure to check out our next episode of We Say. Now, back to the studio. So, Brendan, what was your favorite grade? I'd have to say sophomore year after being introduced to varsity football. How about you? That's pretty cool. Uh, my favorite grade was probably my freshman year. Um, it was like my first year in high school. It's pretty warm, welcoming. Well, that's it for the main desk. Let's send it over to Tyrone with sports.
Thanks, Morgan and Brendan. I'm Tyrone. Let's take a look at everything that's going on with sports. On Tuesday, in varsity baseball, the Dogs faced a 0-7 to loss to Dallas in varsity tennis. Brendan Tarowski, Dylan Smith, and Ian McGrone all won their single matches. In boys volleyball, Hunter Model finished with a five aces, 13 service points, five kills, and eight digs. The Bulldogs won 25 to 11, 25 to 12, and 25 to 13. Andrew Blockus had six aces, 13 service points, and 23 assists in the win. In tonight's sports, varsity baseball is away with Wyoming Valley West at 4.15 p.m. Dismissal, 2 p.m. Varsity Volleyball is home with Delaware Valley at 4.30 p.m. Now over to FYI with Danny Dimes to see what's happening around BHS. Thanks, Tyrone. I'm Danny Dimes, and let's get started with FYI. Before we begin, everyone should pick up a copy of the Student Times. The Features section are very helpful, especially with scheduling. There are also many cool articles and pictures. Be sure to grab one in the cafe, office, library, or room 60. Okay, now on to FYI. Juniors, Penn State University will have a representative here on April 13th at 1 p.m. to speak with interested students. Sign up in the guidance office. The YMCA has a volunteer opportunity available as a summer day camp counselor in training. As a summer camp CIT, you will inspire youth and foster enrichment in our community. Lead our weekly adventures and outings all summer long and explore nature and all our beautiful area has to offer. Apply in person at the Berwick YMCA. Juniors, the final fundraiser of the year has started. If you did not receive the order form for the Berlin's fundraiser, please stop by room 49 to pick up a copy. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude, we'll leave you with the birthdays. Happy birthday to Jacqueline Guzman, Jada Powell, Jaden Powell, and Mallory Taney. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.